Hi, thank you for purchasing the wireless charging alarm clock, let's begin. After you power the clock, you can slide or dimmer at the back of the clock to adjust 0 to 100% brightness of the display. Next I'll show you how to set the time. Press the time setting button, you will see the hour digital flashing, then press the up or down button to adjust the correct hour. When the hour is set, press the time setting button again to set the minutes, the minute digital also flashing. And then also press the up or down button to adjust the correct minute. Next press the time setting button again to confirm and enter time format, 12 slash 24 H, setting, and then also press the up or down button to adjust it. In 12 hour mode, AM will appear in the morning and PM will appear in the afternoon. Finally, press the time setting button to end the time setting mode. Just a reminder, if you don't press the button for more than 5 seconds while setting the time, it will finish setting itself. This part 1 will show you how to set the alarm. First, press the alarm button, you will see the hour digital flashing. Then press the up or down button to adjust the correct hour. When you finish, press the time setting button again to set the minutes, the minute digital also flashing. And then also press the up or down button to adjust the alarm minute. Finally press the alarm setting button to end the alarm time setting. This part 1 will show you how to set the alarm sounds. First, press the alarm sounds button to select your alarm sounds. Also press the up or down button to adjust the alarm sounds. Ringtone 01 is the beep, ringtone 02 is the birds, ringtone 03 is the bells, ringtone 04 is the piano music, ringtone 05 is the FM radio. You can choose the sound you like. This alarm clock has a 5 second trial sound, if you don't want it to sound that long, you can turn it off by pressing the alarm sound button. And then press the volume up or volume down button on back to adjust the volume. There are 16 levels of jazz. When you adjust the volume, a number will be shown on the display. This part 1 will show you how to use the alarm and snooze function. Press the alarm button to turn on the alarm and press and hold the alarm button to turn off the alarm. When the alarm indicator is lit up on the display, it means the alarm is on. When the alarm is going off, press the snooze button will repeat the alarm by default in 9 minutes. If you want to stop the alarm, you can press the alarm button to stop the alarm of today. This part 1 will show you how to use the FM radio. Press the radio button to turn on the radio, you can press the up or down button to enter the manual skin setting. You also can press and hold the radio button to enter the auto skin setting, like this. This part 1 will show you how to set up the radio alarm. Press the radio button to turn on the radio, you can select the station you want, then press and hold the snooze button until the letter A will flash on the display. It means this radio station is saved as the FM radio alarm. Press the radio button, then press the sleep timer button enter the sleeper timer setting. You can select the sleep time from 10 minutes to 2 hours. Like this. The indication will show up on the display. This part 1 will show you how to use the wireless charging function. Place your phone on the center of the wireless charging pad, the screen of the phone will light up to indicate the phone is charging. Then it is anti-slip, you can see it. Like this. It is important to note that the charging icon will alert you by flashing if there is a foreign object on it. Looking at the back of the clock, this is the USB port as charged your other digital device. This is the dimmer slider to adjust the brightness of the display, and then this is the volume up or volume down button adjust the alarm volume or radio volume. Look at the bottom of the clock, 
This is the battery compartment door. Insert the two AA batteries to back up the time and alarm settings. Thank you for watch and then if you have any question about this clock, please contact us, we will try our best to help you.